Hey, jeez! Welcome back to my Macros Delta reactions. Episode 11 and episode 12, most likely as well. Last time, Messer may be dead, probably, most likely. He's most likely dead. And we kind of introduced the concept of death, which basically means that uh, our other characters aren't um, safe from it. That would make sense. So that's a scary thought. I thought it would be a lot more happy than this, like happy go lucky than this. So yeah, we got a lot of focus on Messer, the fact that he's infected, the fact that he really likes this one member of Valkyrie. Yeah, and then we shoot him. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm kind of scared. You know what I'm scared of the most? I I want there to not be a time skip, like. I get the feeling that this is a really cliche moment to put uh, by cliche I mean just generic, not really a bad thing moment to make it so that the next scene that we're seeing once I press play is a funeral and it's uh, it's gonna suck anyways, we're gonna watch this I'm sorry, uh, I still have a bit of a cold left behind so we're gonna watch this, there's gonna be two versions of this reaction video a picture and picture version which you can find in the description below and a timer based version which you're watching right now if you want to sync up your own media to the timer based version you can do that with a 5 second count that's gonna count that for right? because that's what they do and as you is the same thing my video starts playing on my screen, let's do this it's a black screen, first frame okay, we're skipping we're skipping Wait, he's alive? Or you mean like he's in a body bag or something? I don't know. I was right. <laughs> it's just... It's, let, let me remove the word cliche. Let's just call it classic instead. Uh, also, we got a lot of backstory for him and we got connected to him first before doing this. It, it's a good way to do it. For Messer! He does this a lot. It's not the W, right? Because the W is like, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know. This show and it's gang signs. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, if you're watching this on the PAP, please check out the YouTube channel. It would really help me out. If you were to watch the discussions that are there. Usually the discussions for this show are rather short. I'm sorry. I don't have that much to talk about in it. It's like only lasts like 15 minutes per episode. <laughs> Sometimes less. Um, yeah, thank you to the patrons, you guys are really helpful, and uh, if you want early access, become a patron, it really help me out, but if you can't, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I kinda wish we get another OP. We're at episode 11, and there's 26 episodes, so around episode 15 maybe, a new OP? Yeah, it's like this. And like this. Uh, there we go. I uh I messed up a lot of wires with my PC earlier. I fixed them, it's okay. I don't know, I just remembered. Because looking at how it looks right now, it looks so bad. And transform. Okay, let's do this. And it's raining. Of course it's raining. <laughs> Classic. Oh yeah, that thing. It, it was, it looks like it was attacked by the, I don't know if it's a gravity weapon or something. I forgot exactly what it's called. She's <laughs> so chill. It's scaring me. Yep. Yeah, and they fell unconscious. 
Yay, sci-fi mumbo jumbo. It makes sense. I, I have some understanding of folds. I my pen. Yeah. There we go, sorry. Nice. Okay. Now, what's she feeling about Messer now? Isn't Messer your like ace pilot as well? The best in that platoon, specifically? What is it? What? In the heart? I don't think it's bad luck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, revenge stories. Let's. He's gonna be fueled by revenge. Let's do it. I think he thinks otherwise. Here we go. What is that weapon? <laughs> That's horrifying. Really? Right there. He has respect for his opponent. Uh, It's like a show of delicacy, I guess. Jerry Gashi. Oh, that's that's uh helpful for storytelling. <laughs> so angel wings, I think. Hey, this guy. This guy is very suspicious. Sigur Brins. I just... <coughs> I'm reading the word. But... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. As I said, it's like cold. Yeah, yeah, you're dying. Look at your face. Mm. Yes. Okay, what does that mean? What does- what- I know- mm. I think it was strike when he- when the- He said strike when The flames flickered. Sweating a bit. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. What is it? He's just scary. That is true. <laughs> I talked about it in light already, but yeah. Hmm. 
て、Ah, okay. So, oh, yeah, this woman. Okay. Well, I mean, it's practical as a as a soldier. Pick one that looks like a main character. Like, <laughs> of course. It's, it's, it's almost as if it still hasn't caught on with、uh, Hayate that this is a war and he is a soldier. Yep, there we go. I mean, everyone's been super nice, so I don't blame him. Yeah. yeah. Even Messer has been really nice to me, especially in the last bits. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for laughing at Freya. I was more so laughing at what they're doing, to be honest. <laughs> goody goody! Excuse me, I don't know what's happening. I, um, why am I sneezing so much more now that I'm recording? Excuse me! Yep. Not just that. More. Okay. Oh, yeah, they were talking about、uh, upgrading something. Oh, okay. I. Oh. Yeah, this is what they saw. And then it was also shown as the scar, so. Okay. Okay. Ah! Sorry, I'm rooting for them. Not really. I feel weird thanks to the sneezing. I still feel like sneezing. <laughs> ah! Okay. Focus. Nice. That is huge! Mountain for scale. It's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs>、um, isn't the entire castle actually? It's like a hope for them. Oh! So it's proto culture, okay.
Yep, we're looking at it. Heinz Nerik Winjabir. This is a slow episode. <laughs> There's so much information going into my brain and leaving it. I'm gonna try to. I really like Hayata's outfits. What's up? What are we celebrating? Wait. Wait, what? What? <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's kind of ugly, but okay, it's cute. That's a sweet little tradition. Okay. That is very sweet to think about. <laughs> I want to talk about something. <laughs> Captain, yeah, he's not entirely, he's not heartless. Banana sake, that's gonna taste weird. Is there banana wine somewhere? Because you can technically make wine out of it. Freya's laugh is really cute. <laughs> hey, it eased up. Oh, I don't want to bring it up right now. I'm at. Hmm. <laughs> A big goblin guy's there. I know he's not technically a goblin. I don't think so. But <laughs> they're gonna talk, and Freya's gonna be behind them, and she's gonna freak out. I'll take it to my grave. Yeah, that is true. But that's what he would have wanted that. That's the thing. There we go. Wait, what? Hmm. Yeah. Remember sixteen. What? They said that in English as well. True. Ah, his sacrifice was very worthwhile. Wow. Huh? What is it? What is it? They died? These are people that died? Name! Who, who's that? It's your who? Oh, it's her entirely. I thought that was her full name. I forgot. Sorry. Wow! Wow, he's watching over them so much! Uh. Yes, your room is lighting up. Oh, I thought you missed someone, never mind. <laughs> Uh, 
I was saying. Yeah. Oh, this is hurting me. Ah, uh, fuck you. I actually care for this guy so much. Like, in a... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> of course it doesn't. I was about to say. I was about to say. That was your order. That was the order he gave. I know how- oh god, I just voice actor is doing really well right now. Send him off! That's, that's literally his order. He couldn't have made that order if he was closer to them, but he wanted to be. Classic Sundare Messer! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he is a Sundare though. He's definitely a Sundare. <laughs> Please let this be the ED. I kind of don't want this emotion to leave me right now. Let's go. Full, full of carry. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Come in. Come on. You have to. Yeah, you have to. I forgot your name, Nakane, something like that. Mm. Oh, we're not taking it into revenge. Mm -hmm. no, I'm not crying, Chuck. They did a good job of it. Yes! And it's not vengeance! Okay, that's good. I can now. Yes, I forgot your name. I'm sorry, but uh, I was more invested in Messer. You know, if this had romantic lyrics, I would be singing along too. Just to ruin it. Kaname, there we go. Hey, hey, sweet. No, it's not the ED. We're gonna get the ED. They did a good job of making this so emotional. <gasps> What the fuck, dude? Oh, we're taking this into the EDS! Yes, thank you! That's a complaint I had before. It's very nitpicky, but it's a complaint. Just make this the entire ED. Love ripples, really. I'm saying that very, in a very positive way. I'm just, I just can't find the, the the light in my voice. Jellyfish reminiscence. <sighs> no, we're not done. Okay, Ashahal gonna be invaded. Default signals. Hello, wormhole, warp gate, whatever. <laughs> Did 
This is a great midway point when you think about it. It's kind of a midway point. There's literally there's no exact midway with twenty six. So, solve this episode. Uh, okay. Next one is called the King of the Wind. Dude. Okay. I was very emotional in this one, even though I did say that I wasn't the biggest fan of the pacing at the beginning. But it fits perfectly well. It fits so well. It's just I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Mostly because I, yeah, I don't really want to have to emote as much as I wanted to today. And it's quite something. Let's talk about the obvious things first. Hayate and Freya. They're new to this. And they're going through the process of a process that if they continue with this career, they're going to have to keep doing this over and over again. That's, let's just, just. That's just the nature of their work. And you can tell, especially with Hayate, just walking out when they were like, uh, we need to replace him. <sighs> Freya seems okay. Mom, she's always chill and I kind of like it. Like she's slightly suspicious, but uh, she's getting less and less suspicious to be honest. <sighs> this girl is a... Uh, I like that we never really made it into a 100% positive yes this is romance happening right now. I'm, I, I quite like that because it gives the, it gives the emotions that, that is in this, within this episode so much more meaning. It gives the emotions between the two of them so much more meaning because it's cut short. It's, it never really went that far. It's just. It's just that they were starting to understand each other really well. Uh, Messer finally opened up to her about the fact that uh, she was able to save him with her singing and was and in, by in turn was able to inspire her to become more competitive, to become better when it, when it comes to her work. And it just gives it more meaning, the fact that we didn't really, I would say, sully it with romance. I think it would have worked with romance if it wasn't this set of three episodes. It would have worked if it was half the show. But no, it's literally three episodes. And it would feel very cheap if we actually include that they actually start dating. You know they have some feelings for each other, but if they start dating within those three episodes, it would be really weird. Not weird, but it's a lot... It feels a lot cheaper. Like, like we're, we're being force fed an emotion that really shouldn't be there at that moment. So yeah. <laughs> so I quite like that. Um so writing, yay. Okay. Okay, we get a little glimpse of the White Knight's skill. Uh riding the wind and just shooting him through through the plane and then straight directly to his heart. Okay? I mean there are some ch chance encounters with guns in wars that happen, like uh, like accidentally shooting two people at the same time, accidentally shooting up like a bunch of coins in a pocket and thus saving a person. That kind of stuff. I, those are very interesting to watch. I watch those <laughs> when I, when sometimes on YouTube. There's like videos on those, and um, this doesn't feel like it's a coincidence. This feels like he intended to shoot him in the heart. And he did, so. Okay, what's really interesting about Hayate having a difficult time processing this, in the beginning at least, is it's almost as if he wants vengeance, right? I literally, that's literally my first note. Hayate vengeance, I wrote it down. Which I thought would be an interesting story to have because uh, I kind of want Hayate to be a bit more angry uh, all the time. And then he, at some point he's just redeemed and he realizes that Revenge isn't blah 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 blah, all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> but no, we actually get... We actually ease up a bit of Hayate's heart because we say farewell to Messer and we understand that Messer probably wouldn't want something like this. And this is just part of the work. Like, we, we need to replace this person because we need to. Otherwise, our security, our defense system wouldn't be very good. So we need that. It's not that we don't care about Messer, it's that this is a necessity right now and this is something that you will probably experience multiple times going forward. 
not in the show specifically, but if he ever stays a part of the Delta Platoon, he will, I, it's, it's a thing that will happen. And that's another part of it is we also kind of need to kill people. Like, he's a soldier. And yes, the more skilled the fighter, the, the flyer, the pilot, there we go. The pilot, the less they have to kill because they can just make sure that uh, their opponents are unarmed. But, you know, at some point, Hayate, you already killed one person. At some point, you're gonna have to kill another person. Or more. <laughs> Probably more. So, yeah, we need to... We need to speed up the process of this because there's greater things at play and there's bigger things that are at stake. And you being a soldier kind of need to do this properly. Okay, this is kind of cool. White Knight just showing up that... Yeah, yeah, pink haired dude is a dick. Like, let's be real, he's kind of annoying. Like, he just goes, I'm gonna kill you, and he's just... He's just super edgy boy that likes killing shit. It's like he likes fighting. He's not very fun to watch. Like, I want him to have some kind of story within him, but I doubt it's gonna happen now that we're this this deep in, and we keep getting and he just keeps getting kind of screwed over. Okay, another thing, White Knight going. I like to see you try. <laughs> like, basically, he basically said in a very what's the word for it? Uh, the passive aggressive way that uh. You know, he's better than you, right? So shut up. And also the fact that he's literally right in some kind of pit. If he fell, he would... Oh, okay. Okay, I want to talk about something very interesting here. About... I think it's here. About why Ainz should, should uh, be a secondary priority when it comes to saving Windermere. Uh, first of all, the concept of uh, dying very early on in life. That's an interesting concept to bring up that I didn't think about because that means that we're not really removing that many years from the prince. He's gonna die soon anyway, why do we even think about it? It's not as big of a deal as when, say, a, an 8, let's say, okay, so Windermere's live up to 30. Let's say that freaking, uh, what's his face? Prince, the prince is 18 years old, for, just for example's sake, for simplicity's sake. And it's literally more than half of his life and we can just use him for the greater good. Kind of similar to the idea that when an emergency is happening, we kind of let the younger ones out first. We kind of make sure that they're the ones safe first. Because uh, that's it's, it's, it's morbid to think about, but it's kind of part of the truth why women and children first to go out, you know, survivability and everything. <sighs> so, it's just a lot more extreme to them because they have a shorter lifespan. Ah, and then there's also the fact that he says something really weird. I don't remember what exactly was so I'm gonna look at it. Something important. I like the story, we have no time. Too slow. Time itself will not matter. That's... That's a lot deeper than I thought what you would say. Because when I was thinking of Windermere, why Windermere would do this, there's a possibility that I had in the back of my head that I never really talked about because it sounds kind of stupid. But maybe if there's a reason why their species last very short in terms of lifespans and they're trying to find a way to la live longer. I doubt that's it. But time itself will not matter is relevant to what I just said but also a lot deeper because it's, it's saying time itself. I don't fully understand that. Is, is there some grander scheme to this? Like, are, I don't know, I don't know, I honestly don't know. What else do we want to talk about? Okay, I love that we keep seeing that the captain, even though he's trying to, he has a, oh, what's the word I could do? He has an iron, not an iron fist, he has a, I can't think of the word. It's like, he's not nice. <laughs> I can't think of the word, I'm sorry. But he's not evil. He's like, he's just... Okay. He's still thinking of Messer. And we gotta get the protoculture and we fixed it. Now we have a giant fucking warship. And then we see 
the captain here. It's like, yeah. The food looks nice. Actually, for anime food, those look bland. For anime food specifically. Because anime food always looks nice. Okay, I like that we have our own, not like little bits of culture and like superstitious beliefs where they turn to jellyfish, which is really interesting because jellyfish is a huge part of this planet's lifestyle and just economics and everything. So that makes perfect sense that it's that. But also, the ship. They let the ship float away and it's a spaceship. That's just really fun to see because, you know, we're so used to boats and stuff because that's what humans first made. But we're but this society is so far beyond that that they use spaceships. Okay, the song really got to me. Not this part, the the one where uh freaking Mamiko. I forgot her name again. Ah, Mami, so Mako, something like that. The pink haired girl. She starts singing. That that got me really emotional. Uh, and to sneeze again. So, <laughs> just the fact that Messer has been watching over them so much is really interesting. He's a Zundere. That's the thing. And he has such a good reason for being a Zundere. It's because he's been infected for so long that if if someone needs to do the deed and just kill him off, they won't be able to do it if they're close to them. <sighs> nice. Messer, Messer. Messer will always remember it in my heart. Will always be remembered in my heart. I might forget his name. I'm terrible at names. But I will definitely remember him. Okay, let's do this. One more episode. I'm gonna go pee and just make sure I have less sneezes. Okay, so we're gonna start a war. It's already started, but now it's gonna get huge. Also, I took some antihistamine. Hopefully, it's good. I also don't get really sleepy with antihistamine. So, it's okay. Let's go. It's gonna be two versions. Tower Beast will have a timer. PIP will not see this part, so it's okay. Let's go. It's a muted. Sorry. Okay, this is episode 12. Write it down. This is a recap. Is that a bird? It's a bird looking down like that and with its beak open. Oh, she got he got higher. I don't know if I can do that. I, I, ooh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. And VAR! There we go. VAR we go. Sorry. And everyone's just... Hey, no. Okay, WAR! Emergency! Belay. Ah, delay. Okay. Belay? Is that a word? This is a horrifying weapon to have. Just make everyone insane. What are nuns? <laughs> Sorry, so many terminology. I now know that spacey space navy though. Sorry. <laughs> oh, if you watch this on PAP, YouTube channel, help me out. <laughs> We're growing steadily, and by steadily, very slowly. Yeah, especially, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, because uh, most people just watch the PAP, so not much retention there. I'm sorry. 
I just said I don't get sleepy with antihistamine and I just feel sleepy with antihistamine. Everything's recording properly. Let's do this. Episode 12. 20. Okay, let's see. The war. Okay. It's gotta be. Oh, wow. Dude. All the survivors from there. <laughs> That's horror. That's just scary. It's dark. Anyways. Hmm. Nice. Oh. Yep. That's another dilemma to have. Do we kill the little kid? <laughs> because... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why? This is why you're suspicious. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder why there's a dimensional rift. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Also, high is pretty much immune. Not really, but close enough. Close enough immune. <laughs> she's gonna think that she's not worth it. She didn't deserve it. No? <laughs> okay, that's, how, that's when you whistle. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Uh. This thumbnail is get this video's thumbnail is gonna have me going like this again. Oh, he actually cares. Sort of. And he's smiling. <gasps> Sorry. Something itches right here. Nice. We learned how to self-destruct it. <laughs> You're suspicious. Uh. 
That's why he's resting. Oh, so it... Get out. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, intense. Yeah. It's Freya. Sorry. Sadrun. Yay, they know now. Doubt. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. Okay. It's thirty-five. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you have? Ah. What? <laughs> then we gotta have to fight him. He was a horrible student. I wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about that. I can see. That makes sense. Yep, of course. Suspicious already. Your nose is weird. Ernest Johnson. <laughs> so what? I mean, it's a good move, tactically. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay, so <sighs> it's Lady M. They're going to die, all of them. Hey, halfway. I think I, I think I'm actually sleepy because of the antihistamine. Wow, that is weird. That's never happened before. 
Did I take a bigger dosage? I don't know. Just to stop the sneezing. You know, I'm... <laughs> it's always siding with the underdog. He's a main character. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and thanks to the co uh, context that we had earlier on, it makes sense that he's gonna think that. <laughs> they have this like mutual respect and it's kind of fun. Because there's a war. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's Lady M. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's quite a fun place. Ragnyanyan. Yeah. Now turning into a battlefield and we're gonna destroy it. Kinda of feel bad for calling it tactically. Give it. But what's gonna happen to the people? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah. What is it? Apples. Yeah, yeah, but I thought you were only eating all apples because you had no choice. Apparently not. <laughs> also, that's a lot of apples. That wears down your teeth after a while. Hey, hey, hey. Freya is cute. Hey, we're referencing it. There we go. Man, man, do that. Yeah, that's why someone said that your dad will be proud, even though not directly to his face. Yep, this is the halfway episode. Can you tell? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Mirage is just listening in. Yeah, it feels really weird because uh, it doesn't. I don't fit anymore because of the wings. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> the rune just went. Oh, that was cute. Okay, and it was dirt. That's true. <laughs> you don't have to, it's okay. You don't have to act like Messer. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's what you meant. Sorry. I 
That is. Uh, I mean, Hayate is very talented, as in natural gifts and everything. Yeah, and she's a pure learned skill. That's kind of why they didn't get a lot at first. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see Freya's face right now. <laughs> hey, can you make a promise? Sorry. Um, it's like she realizes that she doesn't have that kind of connection between the two of them. That is a lot of bones cracking. Are you okay? Your soldier should work out a bit more. <laughs> I like this music. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ironhar, Ironhar, I I can't pronounce that word. More uh, Norse myth. Don't tell me the, 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 the it's gonna end. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, okay, okay. I was just bracing themselves. I want to see this thing in action. Hell yeah. Transformation? Wait, he can just form? Have we seen this move before like this? I don't think so. Like that? No. A storm is coming. Oh boy. Yeah, we're getting get, we're getting more uh wind frigging idioms. Oh like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Hyatt is just focused. <laughs> That's not what he said, I think, but yeah. Is it, is it, is it it? Is it that thing? Wait, what? Are they gonna crash into this? He's <laughs> just like, good one! I taught this guy, and I'm gonna kill this bastard! <laughs> Give me a moment. Give me, Give me a moment, don't worry. I I'm listening to the song, but uh, I do not have the time. I don't have the time! I want to watch one more! <laughs> Especially since I don't have that much to talk about, but I don't have the time! I need to record some... Uh, that... It's a few more. Not that long, but uh... I think this will come up in early access uh, like a day after the video on YouTube does. The video before this.
discussion back on YouTube, by the way, for PAP people. I like this song. I like this song. Room Picari. Let's talk about this episode. Okay, so uh, this is okay. So basically, the past two episodes have been set up for what is going to happen next, and the the big little reveal setup thing is that Messer's dead. Messer's dead. Now we have to make do with our people, and I don't think Delta Platoon got another person. So yeah. What I want to talk about, it's a. Uh... <sighs> I do enjoy seeing a bunch of other characters here. Uh, a lot of them are very well designed for for unnamed characters. It's gotta be really surreal to uh for to be to be soldiers and to be friends with other soldiers and then you just see each other for every now and then and they're like holy shit you're alive good job that's gotta be really surreal i okay and i want to actually wait, 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 wait i think is that the guy that actually whistled on her is that the guy and he's and he's there I don't know, can't find it. Okay, so there's history between big ol' goblin dude and uh, and the king. They they used to be men, uh, teacher and student, and he just kind of got a, was dismissed from being a teacher because there's a war going on, and they had to fight. I mean, that's the sad reality of it. Uh, it, 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 it I like that it's brought up here though. Like it could be a very good plot point later on, where let's let's talk about war for a bit. So whenever there's a war, the one thing that you make that you make sure you do if you're leading an army is to make sure that everyone that is not on your side is bad, and which is entirely false because there's going to be people there that don't really want to fight or anything, and people there that quite possibly in this case uh, are people that you know are in. They're okay, so yeah. But that's one of the things about war. You make sure that they're always the bad guys. Otherwise, morale will waver. That sucks. But I want that to be a, a point of interest whenever we go into it. Where at some point, we're gonna have one of our main characters is gonna have a connection. One of our good guys is gonna have a connection to one of the bad guys and it's gonna cause a dilemma. That'll be really interesting to watch. Yeah. Yeah, just wanted to say that. What else do I want to talk about? Uh, they talk about how the rune is running out. Is it literally the rune is your lifespan? Where I think that the kings is darker and the older they look, the darker the runes look. So someone like Freya is like entirely very bright pinkish red. So yeah. No, but sometimes it turns into black whenever she's sad. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I like that uh, one of the girls pick up on that. I forgot her name. Boobs McGee. <laughs> Sorry. The, the one with, the one with the always exposed chest that is always hanging out with the green haired one. So, um, yeah. I like that she picked up that uh, the rune changes colors whenever she feels something. And now Mirage is promoted. Uh, I like the direction they took it. It's not the direction I thought they would go where my direction was pretty much entirely melodrama this one makes so much more sense my idea was that she would think that she's not wor worthy of such a title but it's more like she found some kind of competition in Hayate here where even though she thinks that Hayate is probably better than her right now she also <clears throat> the fact that she actually gets this position makes her feel like she can do battle with Hayate in such a way that they're rivals. It's quite fun, the dynamic there. Okay, I want to talk about something really, 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 really cool. First of all, the king cares for the kid. It's a, it's a, just putting the goals first though, but at least he's letting him rest. 
Sadu. <laughs> that was an oddly timed point to put a very detailed lips. <laughs> Anyways, um, I want to see what what she what she saw when she was talking about flowing the wind. Okay, first of all, gorgeous background. Uh, nothing too crazy, but I love it. It fits the atmosphere very well, especially the bright ocean, sparkling ocean, where uh, it's actually. A technique you can do to make it so that it's easier to make it look good even though there's a lot less effort than actually drawing them properly <laughs> oh so when she said will that wind flow through me again she's probably talking about the wind the wind singer and then the connection that they made probably Okay, we got we got the conversation here. Yep, they knew each other. This guy is so suspicious already. Like I, I wasn't joking when I said that his nose looks looked weird. Think about it. He's the only one with that kind of nose, which seems to be a very similar species to us to to the other characters. But the way his nose is drawn, it's so. It's almost like I can easily fit a mustache there, like a very twirly mustache that is very bad guy esque. Like cartoonishly bad guy, <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> so I wasn't joking when I said nose. I love that the captain just goes, "Yeah, great. You're not giving us reinforcements. You're just gonna blow it up. Good job." Like I, I stand by what I said. I still think that what they're they're doing is strategically good, strategically, morally though. <laughs> morally, that is a that's a big old debate to be had there because uh, we're gonna have to kill people. And if you evacuate them first and uh, all that, you still have the risk of killing people. You have the risk of destroying the environment. You have the risk. <laughs> you're risking the people's life just by making them evacuate. It's. <laughs> I think it would work as a last resort. Like, if it if all else fails, just destroy all the proto culture. Okay. Okay. Also, not just right now. Like, we're desperate now. Just not just that. Destroy everything. I wonder who Lady M is. I don't believe it's mentioned anywhere. It's like, uh, what does this say? He's known as a commander who loses 100 out of 100 battles. Like, a worthy opponent. <laughs> uh, fun. My favorite interaction is here though. Later. Nah, it's long about this. Although this is cute. Just them together. This is... Very cute. I I did not expect to get something like this uh, at this point in the story. First of all, Mirage just goes. <laughs> uh, Hayate is okay. Hayate is not dense. I stand by that, but he's also quite oblivious. There's quite a difference between that because uh, I think that if anyone actually makes an advance on Hayate, he would understand it. Except no one has. And it's just him being oblivious to the fact that these two ladies like him. <laughs> and it's really hilarious. I've eaten like a, a total of maximum two apples in one go. Like in a few minutes. It was it, it hurt my teeth. Is that just me because my teeth aren't very healthy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, where is it? Singing is fun during battles. And then they kind of have a connection there. I think that's the same thing with Mirage, is that uh, she finds that connection between Freya and Hayate to be something that she can never have with Hayate. And then when Mirage starts talking to Hayate, she finds that it is a relationship that she can never have with Hayate. So I, it's understandable, it's quite fun. It's a fun dynamic. I love this little love triangle of sorts, even though there's literally no advancement happening in it. It's just. And it makes sense that there's nothing happening in it because they're in the middle of a war. And they have so many things to think about other than this. So it makes sense. There's a really f fun little cut of her. Yeah, yeah, when Hayate just goes, yeah, sing with all you've got. Is this it? And then he just goes, I can't do that. There we go. <laughs> 
and Miles is able to protect you. And he's like, you're being really smooth right now, Hyatt, and you don't even know it. Wait, 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 there's something there, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, that, that little very short sparkle. And then... <laughs> uh, uh, the Mirage. Of course, someone calls her. And she's very serious right now. Okay. Ah, Delicion. It looks so cool. It is a man's romance. Sorry. <laughs> I had to say it. Almost sarcastically. Half sarcastically. Um, okay. What is what I want to talk about? The, the big giant robot fighting the big giant ship is gonna be epic. Like, there's no way about it based on what I've seen on how the fights work. This is gonna look really cool, especially since we're gonna have re probably a slowdown where things just, things are just kind of slower because it's happening on a bigger scale and there's a lot more players that play. Yeah. I think I'm done. This is a good set of episodes. This is this is the set of episodes that just uh, are a little transition from one thing to another. So the war is gonna happen. I honestly don't know how they're gonna stretch it out for 15 more episodes. But 15? 13. 13 more episodes. But yeah. No! 14! Math! I've not done math properly in a while. You should... Okay, that's it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode's reaction or discussion a week earlier than everyone else, you can do that with the Patreon link below. It will really help me out. You don't have to, but if you can, please do that. And if you can't, leave a like on the video, subscribe to your channel. That's free and it really helps out because uh, most people just watch the PAP and your retention is kind of low. Bye! Uh.